So Evans, let's talk about last year's team. Arguably the best season the Red Claws ever had, and it really started with the announcement of the new coach, Scott Morrison. Yeah, Scott comes in, he leads the team to 35 wins, not even close to the best season on the floor that the Red Claws have ever had. A 35 and 15 record when it was all said and done, and the best record in the Eastern Conference. If I remember correctly, was it wire to wire? I was trying to remember that earlier. I think it was. If not, maybe there were a couple times where they slipped into second place, but this was a team that was really on top all year. It really was, and it, it seemed like every game, especially at the Expo, was just so exciting. And you just got to love the brand of basketball that Coach Morrison plays. Run and gun, shoot all those threes. I think they broke their own three-point shooting record ten times during the season. And I think it starts with Scott Morrison, the head coach of the Maine Red Claws, his first year last year. He was there the year before on an intern basis. He worked with in development. And obviously the Celtics very comfortable with him as we had a record assignment number last year. Six from the Celtics, two from the Brooklyn Nets. It was a lot of fun to watch. We had guys like Marcus Smart, Phil Pressey, James Young, Andre Dawkins. I could go on and on. It was quite a crew that uh, came down. And you know the Celtics very comfortable bringing these guys down for Scott to work with. Yeah, even Phil Pressey came down and played a game for the Red Claws, scored 34 points in his Red Claws debut. But really, the perfect example there of the relationship between the Celtics and the Red Claws as it is now is James Young. Here is the first round draft pick from the Celtics. He comes up to the Red Claws, plays 17 games with the Red Claws last season. So the Red Claws fans got to see a lot of them, and he played great at the D-League level, and it really helped him at the NBA level. And now they really feel that's given him a boost and a boost in confidence going forward. So I think the Celtics really like the, uh, the model that the Red Claws run. They like the affiliation between the Red Claws, especially Brad Stevens seems very comfortable sending his players up to Portland. And even with all those assignments, the story of the year, though, Tim Frazier, player of the year. He uh, got called up to a few different teams, Philadelphia, then Portland. He just made Portland. He's going to be up in the NBA starting this season. So much fun to watch him play and possibly top five player ever in this league. Oh, he was unbelievable with the Red Claws this season. Started with the Celtics in their training camp, comes to the Red Claws. Uh, let's put it in perspective. The Red Claws in their franchise history had four triple doubles. Tim Frazier had four triple doubles last season. Just Tim Frazier. He almost averaged a triple double with the Red Claws. It was unbelievable. And at the end of the year, he's named league MVP, league rookie of the year, first team all D-League, a D-League all-star. He got called up to the Philadelphia 76ers, signed two 10-day contracts there, and then he got called up for the remainder of the season with the Trailblazers. What more could you do? He was unbelievable. Even with Tim, even with Chris Babu came back and was a proven leader once again this year, even with all the assignments, I still say the highlight of the year, Andre Stringer's two half-court shots in one game. It even made dead spin. We were famous for a day. <laughs> well, you were famous for a day. That, that was unbelievable. I mean, Andre Stringer, it's perfect. You talk about the role players that were on this team. Andre Stringer, long-range shooting. Omari Johnson comes from Oregon State, and he just had a great season. Should have been, in my opinion, one of the most improved players of the year. So it was just a great team top to bottom, and, and the results were they, obvious. Looking ahead, it's going to be an exciting year. This team is still looking for their first ever playoff win. It ended abruptly last season, even with the division championship. But moving forward, you still have Scott Morrison. This team is expected to get some returning players as well. 2015, 2016, really, really building to be quite a year here. I would expect to see several familiar faces on the Red Claws this season. And I, I agree. Last season was a great success. They're going to jump off from that with Coach Morrison leading the charge. I think there's nothing but no, nowhere to go but up for the Red Claws. Expectations have to be high. Got it.